My name is Ritmaka Karnadara. I'm from Anand College, Colombo. They called me uh, secretary once. Actually, not, not once, they still call me secretary because uh, I do all the documenting work, like writing reports and uh, making the proposals and stuff like that. I'm the one who headed the documenting <laughs> department, if you wish to call it. Uh, so they called me secretary at school. <laughs> uh, my, um, I have two. Uh, one, I think my biggest achievement is uh, winning the award for Best Supporting Actor at the All Island School Shakespeare Drama Competition in the year 2018. Uh, it really, uh, that was a huge accomplishment for me because uh, Shakes is a huge deal uh, in school. I think uh, the next biggest accomplishment was uh, I got the opportunity to play the role of Salgadu in uh, Deepa Mehta's film The Funny Boy uh, in 2019. I would say we organized a project called Transcendence uh, from the Interact Club. And um, before the event, uh, one of the treasurer's grandfather, not grandfather, father, passed away. And uh, a day before the show, one of our crew members passed away. And uh, we still pulled off the show um, on the following day, but uh, we had to hold the burden and the heavy weight of uh, the death. Yeah. Um, when I was uh, very young, I got into theatre uh, and uh, initially I started cross-dressing. I, 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 I played many female roles and uh, when you go to an all-male all school and when you play female characters, there is a sort of discrimination that you'll have to go through that goes anywhere in society. Uh, so I, my first uh, character, my first proper uh, theatre role. I played the role of Cinderella when I was in grade 5 and then I played Snow White as well uh, even though I'm dark skinned <laughs> but uh, uh, after that happened people you know started calling me these words and stuff like that and the discrimination was real. I was a gymnastic, I was a gymnast uh, from a very young age uh, but after these experiences because I wanted to redeem myself from people calling me less than a man and all of that I started playing rugby uh, to get over it but uh, yeah so I think Theatre is a passion and it doesn't really matter what character you play because you're involved in another person's life and you're trying to live that experience and it doesn't really matter if you're a man or a woman to play any role. So I think that is the most embarrassing moment of my school career. Um, I am currently the uh, deputy head prefect of, of college. Um, so to get that position you have to be involved in a lot of things. Um, my greatest commitment is always to theatre, drama. I was a part of the English Drama Circle, that's the first club that I was a part of. Uh, after joining English Drama, I joined uh, English Debating. After that I joined the Broadcasting Unit and I was involved in comparing and media and then the Interact Club and the English Literary Union. As sports, I did uh, gymnastics from a very young age. I continued that till the end of my school career. And I also played rugby, but that wasn't a big part of my career. But gymnastics was the sport I gave most of my commitment to. Um, when I was young, my grades weren't always the best. Uh, I noticed this because I have a lot of time on my hands and when I have a lot of time with me, it's very likely that I will waste it on other things. And I think joining extracurriculars and going for rehearsals, going for practices, it limited the amount of time I have. And in these circumstances, I started to understand, my, my God, I need time. Time is very important, otherwise I will lose my academics, I won't be able to study, I won't be able to face my examinations. So with by covering myself with so much work, by getting involved in all of these things, I understand the value of time and, when, and once I understood the value of time, I was able to make time for myself. If you actually look into a person's life, they are wasting a lot of time. And when you are involved in other things, the amount of time you waste on stuff like media, like watching stuff on your phone and wasting time doing other things, will limit. 
So I found being a part of extracurriculars and sports really made me better at what I do. It made me more passionate about these things because I'm an art student. And the reason I chose arts is because I found that my passion was, you know, understanding the complexities of society and, you know, looking into it, which is why I also chose the subject of economics. And Kassunsa's class was an amazing support uh, for economics uh, because, you know, I want to solve issues and that passion and that love for knowledge and that thirst for just everything came with getting involved in these activities. So I think the, that, it, that was my strategy, if you were to call it a strategy. Um, for all students, all I have to say is, you will only love what you do when you are involved in so many things. Because if your entire life is dedicated to just learning, I, I didn't find that successful. I'm a night owl, <laughs> I study in the night, uh, for sure. <laughs> Alone. <laughs> because when you are with friends, you are distracted, you will do other, you will goof around. But, you know, when I'm alone, I'm in my zone, I'm organizing everything, I want everything to be in order. Like, before a study, before an exam, my entire room is decorated with all these short notes and like uh, like bristle boards of notes and stuff like that and ek liyala madi mama type ut karna etika type kala venama document ekak hadagena ebook ekak ayak ut hadana mama so i have this urge to write everything or type everything so that i have a repetition of everything in my mind so yeah eating uh, i got I, i i got a little plump and chubby during <laughs> exam season um I ate a lot of um, chocolate wafers <laughs> while studying, <laughs> but that's not a good thing, so don't do that <laughs> if you are studying. Um, uh, there was always a part of me that uh, kept asking myself if I have done enough, because uh, I mean, I was always balancing and um, there were a lot of things happening in life before, I mean, with my academic career as well. Because I also did uh, London's, uh, I sat for Pearson's at Excel's, and I also did this. I, I, I balanced it out to the best of my abilities. I didn't finish it. I'm still finishing London's. Uh, so I did economics there as well. I got an A uh, for London's economics and, and literature for the AS level. Um, but you see, because I was doing so many things before local A levels, I was I was held back with the idea that mama karla atida mama kar miss unada mata mama okkoma kiyawada hama dema man langa tiyenawada okkoma toruturu man langa tiyenawada okkom tika man gonu karagin denna hama deyakma kiyala man danagena deyinne oy wage prashna thamai mata tibbe e level ekata yanna kalin but i think i went there with 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 the promise to myself that i did the best i can so whatever result comes i'll be happy with because i'm i know i committed to to my fullest potential <laughs> I was, it was amazing. <laughs> I mean, amazing is a word you can use for so many things. If I were to use a more authentic word, I would say it was exuberant. Because <laughs> that's a word Kasunsa always uses in class. Um, I think Kasunsa is a phenomenal teacher. Uh, not because his teaching is good, because while his teaching is also amazing, he also makes us question the world. Like, I mean, some of these children, they just go for the class. I mean, they are stuck in the system, but they never question anything. But, you know, Kasun sir, when he teaches us, he also tells us to look at the big picture, right? Like, I mean, I started questioning competitive capitalism and, you know, whether there is any uh, world where a socialist mechanism would work, in a, would work in an economic system because I came to Kasun sir's class. I mean, I started thinking of more macroscopic ideas because of him, because he allowed me to look into that dimension of thinking as well. He didn't broaden, he didn't uh, narrow economics down to the basic education that the education system wants us to indulge in, but he gave us the bigger picture even when he was, uh, I think when we, were, when we were talking about economic growth or something, he was telling us about how the oil crisis took place in the Middle East and stuff like that. And we, we, we went and we, and I researched on it and I looked into issues like that. And you know, from day one, I kept imagining what is the best economic uh, yeah, solution to solve Sri Lanka's problems. Uh, so, you know, I was drawn to answering questions like that or looking for problems because of this individual's influence on my life. 
And uh, I mean, I'm one out of thousand children, and I don't know if I'll ever be able. To, now I'm telling him, but uh, technically, I mean, there might be so many children who you know go through the same experience because of the open-mindedness and the broadness he brings into a lesson, and that is priceless. You don't find that everywhere. So I mean, whatever amount we paid him, it was so worth it. So yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, I mean, coming to class every day, I mean, we miss it now. We don't get that experience. I mean, even though he can't really see us specifically because, I mean, I'm just one tiny dot among so many children. I mean, he made learning enjoyable, right? I mean, uh, we would always, we wouldn't think twice about sacrificing something to come for Kasmansar's class because while it is also enjoyable, we also learn a lot. Uh, um, I hope someday that I'll be able to um, bring a lot of solutions to a lot of problems in this country. From the day you are born, you will be influenced by different parties in society. They will tell you this is what you have to do, this is what you have to do. Um, but from, being, from going to Ananda College, uh, something I learned uh, was that you have to understand what your social responsibility is. And uh, I, I don't think you will understand that until you come to a certain age because I someday aspire to be a part of um, the governmental management of this country. Um, role models are endless. Uh, there's an endless line of role models. Uh, I started by idolizing my father. Um, he was a very courageous man who taught me it's never too late to learn anything. Even at school, when someone, when someone would ask me, we need a graphic post to be make, made and we don't have anyone, I would go home and I would learn how to do it and I would do it. So I think my father taught me to keep hustling for knowledge and you know, being a resourceful individual. And uh, I think role models changed over time. I mean, I idolize Nelson Mandela, Martin Luther King, even Olcott as well. Be passionate, be passionate. <laughs>